Remaining. All right, DC with only 10 seconds remain here. The final grab with their Naga LC lineup. Rounding you know, things out with the mid lane grab for Wii. Potentially, it's going to be the Ursa. That's... One to be able to go toe to toe with the PA. Nice kind of counter pick for the Timbersaw in the lane as well. Pretty hard to match. Mo Timbersaw does really well against almost all heroes mid with the reactive armor, but Ursa, one of the few counters there is. And one of Wii has most played heroes in pub games. He loves the Ursa. All right, guys, based on the draft, is it going to be DC moving on to face EG, or will it be secret? Judging by the draft, I think Digital Chaos got this, like, really easy. Yeah, because mm, if, I think their draft's way the better. If the game goes uh, in the late game, they have a better delayed game. In the laning phase, I think they're stronger as well. Well, Salve and a couple of Tangos good to go. Mid lane, Weeha trying to close in once again onto them. A good heal bump from, a heal bump from Pi. Potentially turn this one around, and MP with another dagger. We could be in trouble there. Yeah, the Tango regen's not going to be enough, and First Blood in the mid lane. Need to ward him back off, but Moon has got the heal. Yeah, the heal also it seems like it takes off the Whirling Death, so that's really, really strong, gives him a lot of HP. Kezu. Continue to try and hold his ground as uh, offensively as he can. He's going to get caught up by a Magic Missile and an Illuminate, and one more touch from the call. Misery will pick up the kill. DC. Making... Uh, it very difficult for Secret to go for any sort of kills in these lanes. They are keeping down Wii in the mid lane. Wii is 11 CS versus 20 from the PA. On top lane. Wise managed to get the wrap around here onto Saxa. Good crush and a heal bomb bringing Saxa down low. And Kezu will be able to take himself a kill. Saxa getting caught out of position. A little bit unexpected that. Yeah, Timbersaw is devastating in lane versus any sort of strength. They're piloting wrapping from around Wii. Oh. Oh. Enough. Just about. Very, very close. Moon coming in, seeing if he can find a dual potential. Has to be maybe a little careful himself with the crits flying through and Puppy's presence. Saxa is there to offer backup for Moon. A jump forward from MP is looking to finish off the kill. Isn't quite enough damage with the poison touch of the right clicks. It will be though from Pi. Double kill picked up on the Dazzle. Secret. So he actually picked up an Aquila on the Ursa. That's very unusual. Usually you'll see Phase Boost or Morbid Mask around this time, so you can either chase people down with the movement speed from Phase Boost or Sorry, move. Right, man. He's in so oh, much trouble. Bye. MP's got a DD rune. No chance at all there Sansa for the Legion might be Commander. in trouble too. It's, lanes have gone disastrously, disastrously. Ursa is supposed to be really good in lane versus melee heroes, but again, the two-on-one situation in the mid lane just... Resolution, he's going to have to song if he can, but he can't. The global's there from Puppy and an immediate takedown from Secret. Kind of the claws of Ursa. Weeha can still find these kills. Secret also has really bad building hitters, too. For Phantom sure. Assassin is just not very good. Timbersaw most of the time just can't hit buildings at all. Ah, uh, they found themselves another hit. Saxon will hold back the PA with the magic missile, but it ain't going to do anything about Mibble. It's actually a late game now, Gun. If like they, they get this smoke. kill now, though, yeah. that, that absolutely could be it. But he is in, in a really good spot. He's right next to the tower. He does have a clarity on him, so it's very obvious as to which one the real one is, but. Ooh, Kezu. Will go the wrong way. Resolution. They still aren't exactly sure where he is. There's still a lot of time left for him to smoke. We. Yeah, he's gonna be the target instead. Oh, that's a crit. Bottom lane. Deep is already coming in. Secret ready to hold. MP going to jump forward, has got the Aegis, he can afford to play with these aggressive plays, and again, just cuts down on the Legion. Recall is also extremely useful. Oh, puppy. To... I'm getting a little too close here, Saxa and Moon moving in, but oh, Kez, a bit of a bait. Kezu in with the two-man crush, mid one in the midst of them all with the burst damage, bringing them down low. Moon's trying to get himself out through the trees. Saxa's out, so's Moon again, the secret. Just finding so many kills in this stage of the game in comparison to what DC can do. 21 minutes in, 14 for one. Make that 15 for one as Kezu's in again with the crush. Secret. Will they make the jump this time? MP. Heading in, clearing out the illusions. DC, who can get the jump in if there's any of it? It's going to be mid one jumping in onto them. Links forward. Holding them back with a bit of control. MP turning his attention back towards the racks. Spamming out the daggers. I mean, Sax is just losing huge amounts of his health there to a crit from MP. There's the jump in from mid one and bursting them down low. Saxa will just survive. Now MP comes through. They've got the global silence to make sure that they can bring down resolution. A quick crit to chop down on Moon. 
Double kill for MP, the slaughter does just not end. Can they kill anyone on secret? That's the question. MP jumps back in onto Misery. A crush comes through Arkezu onto two. They've taken down the Ursa. Moon, he says, fight me to MP, but MP fights back. Puppy, he's the successor of this fight as he picks up a double kill. Resolution comes out with the song, but it may be just a little too late here. Saxa in potential trouble as well. It's actually looked towards Puppy with the Illuminate, bringing him down low. Puppy will tick out to the Radiance damage. Did manage to find the silence here at the end of it all, but huge casualties once again on DC. Secret turned back towards the racks. In fact, MP, he wants blood first. Jumps in with a Kezu crush onto two. Now towards Resolution, Saxon swaps Resolution away. But there is a Helmet Dominator creep that identifies exactly where we is. The Seder Banisher is purging him and making his life miserable. What's he gonna do? One will be behind the tower. Mid one coming across. They'll look towards Moon, but MP and Kezu immediately in. Weeha jumping into the back. Let's look to bring down MP, but the Grave and the BKB is there in time. Weeha jumps up, silent stuff. He's cut down. DC again losing two. Kezu moving over to Saxa is being brought back, but the damage comes through. Holds him in a third death yet again. I mean, DC, they just can't stop dying, Ben. <laughs> Four. Yeah, I think very rarely they, yeah. they can move it around. I mean, Rezo can kind of put into bit. They can switch it up. Well, Naga would have gotten destroyed there. Too. I that's yeah. <laughs> With the Naga doesn't really work out. And we're all talking about the Naga bin. Uh, she's having a few problems on her plate. Secret jump in. Resolution's out for a full minute. Kezu seeing if he can hunt down for more on the mid lane. Saxa and we are finding mid one. Can they actually bring him down here? He yules himself up. Has the backup of Puppy and Pyla die. It's actually Weeha and Saxa they're in trouble. They just turn and kill them. Four dead. And GG is called. The murder and the slaughter finally comes to a stop as Secret just dismantled DC 28 to 2. 29 minutes in. One of the most brutal games we've had here, Ben. Keeper Naka, not a guaranteed win for DC. That's for sure. Yeah, a combination that teams at the last LAN at ESL proved to be very hard to deal with. They didn't have any answers. I personally don't think it's a Naga patch. Naga just seems a little bit too slow uh, for my liking, but generally DC win the other lanes with this.